Uh, tell us, Nick, how, how is uh, your defensive player of the game? Uh, tell us what's going well for you right now. Um, just getting better week to week. That's been my biggest emphasis. Um, just trying to play solid ball, trying to learn from my mistakes and grow each and every week. That's been my biggest thing, man. So to come out here, you know, pass coverage being one of my emphasis that I've been trying to get better at week by week in the season. Come out here and have two picks. Blessed game, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that one pick where you uh, kind of were diving at the ball down uh, near the end zone there. Man, uh, I actually had gave up uh, dig route and coverage early in the game. We was in the same play call. And so, you know, I just took the coaching, you know, just read the release of the receiver. Once he got past me vertical, I knew he was coming back in on the dig route. And shout out to the city to do it, man. Shout out to the, you know, practice squad players for giving us a great look. You know, we work on that all the time. You know, uh, Jerm the Worm, that's his name. But, you know, he hasn't, he got his opportunity early in the season, but he's been diligent in giving us good looks week in, week out. And so I saw that exact route this week. You know, so for me to be able to go out there and make that play, man, it's bigger than just me. You know, it's the whole team. You know, everybody giving us looks. The offense giving us good looks. And that's what happens, man. You make plays. Now, you're winning two games back to get back against a, a major rival. Um, is it getting heat, heated out there? Are you feeling that rivalry? Oh, yeah. It was definitely heated. I felt the rivalry on Monday. I tried to shake somebody's hand. They didn't want to shake my hand. So I said, okay, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. So, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, Calgary, you know, we don't like those guys. And, you know, I'm new to the rivalry, but, you know, I don't like them either. So, yeah, it was good to beat those guys back to back, man. And looking forward, not trying to get too ahead, but looking forward to, you know, getting on them for the third time. What does it mean to get 10 turnovers in the past two games here? Have you had a lot of confidence in the, among the defense right now? Yeah, most definitely, man. Uh, just shout out to our coaches and the preparation. You know, shout out to the see do it guys who give us great looks. Shout out to the offense for staying on us, man. It's really, when you see things like that where defense getting, you know, 10 uh, turnovers in two weeks, that's a close summation of everybody. Everybody, you know, coming and helping us, you know, even the training staff for keeping guys healthy. You know, the way that we're playing ball right now in Edmonton, it really just shows the collective group of everybody in the whole organization doing their job and this reaping the blessings every every game. Now, first time in a while that we've had that lower bowl completely. Finished. Oh, yeah. How, how, do you, how do you guys on defense uh, react to having that kind of noise and those people in the stands? Man, it, it's just great to see the loyalty of the fans of Edmonton. You know, I saw it a little bit, you know, I saw a lot actually when the Oilers were doing their thing. Mm -hmm. And even then, when we weren't winning games at the beginning of the season, it still was a lot of fans coming in, you know, supporting the team. Uh, you could just see it in the community that everybody is just pulling for us to win. And so, I mean, it's a blessing to give them what they're coming here for, you know, to see, have a packed out crowd, to pack out the bowl, and, you know, to be uh, uh, in province rival is a blessing, man. Outstanding. Yes, sir. Thanks so much, Nick. No problem. Thank Appreciate y'all. God bless. Appreciate you. Thank you.